Bonjour. Hello everyone, Pentof here today for a new review concerning the E100, the tier 10 heavy German and big heavy tank, let's say it like this, because this tank is quite huge. We, we already know that pretty much all the German tanks are quite huge. I mean, you have the VK901P, the Maus, the VK7201K, and what they all have in common is that they have a really good armor and they are slow as fuck. That's pretty much what sums up the uh, German tech tree in terms of heavy tanks. But still, the 100 has some specificities that makes it quite enjoyable, at least in my opinion. So overall, if we talk about the tank armor's profile, it's really simple. You have two weak spots, the lower part of the hole, which everybody's gonna penetrate uh, without using too much... Uh, without using too much gold, uh, especially tank destroyers, but that's logic. And the uh, turret. The main problem of the turret, there are two things that you need to know. This little bar here is a weak spot. Everybody can penetrate that, so be aware of that when you're playing with this tank. And also, as you can see, even if the turret is quite... Uh, not that much angled, the turret is not angled, and that's the main problem with the 100, and that's why a lot of people don't like it and would rather play other tanks, such as the mouse, for example, because at least even if the mouse cheeks are quite easy to penetrate, you can angle them a little bit because it's quite round. Here for the 100 it's, it's not the case, I mean you have 250 millimeters of all armor, but as soon as someone loads gold, they are gonna penetrate that turret. And that's why it's really important with the 100 to know how to angle. If you don't angle and you don't know anything about angling your tank to artificially increase your turret armor, it's not a tank made for you. So pretty much that's it for the armor. You also have spaced armor on the sides, which makes it quite effective in order for you to bounce shells if you try to side scrape. You have an amazing, one of the best, if not the best, uh, side armor of all the heavy tanks at tier 10 but i think that's the ice 4 that has the the first place but if if ice 4 comes first the 100 comes second now for the rest even if uh, it's still armored at the at the rear of course everybody's gonna penetrate that's it for the armor now let's talk about what is really interesting about this tank maybe the first thing to notice is that you're gonna have the mouse gun at first when you unlock the 100 you will have to green 63,000 experience in order for you to unlock the last gun which is simply a beast. I love that gun. You have, even if you have a bad gun dispersion, 0.33, you still have a good damage per minute, a long reload time, but what is really impressive is the alpha damage, 640. So you basically have a tank destroyer gun on a super heavy German tank, and that's what makes it lovable, at least in my opinion. And you will not lack of penetration because you have 258 with the regular, which can be quite low in terms of shooting some targets, sometimes you're gonna struggle, so you would rather shoot with gold, and with gold you're not gonna bounce anything. 334. Just be aware of one thing when you're shooting with this tank. You have heat shells. Heat shells can go through spaced armor, so be aware of what ammunition you're carrying and who you're shooting with uh, with, your, uh, with your heat shells. Now, for the mobility, we have a big German heavy tank. It's quite armored. Of course that you're not going to be able to go fast. It's the main problem of the 100. You lack of mobility on both the traverse speed and the top speed. But let's face it, with that kind of armor, it was logic that Wargaming will not put it uh, like, uh, will not put an E100 going at 60 kilometers per hour or something like this. So overall, that's it for the E100. Now, how am I playing it for the provision? I go for the three last one as usual. For the ammunition, I go for 27 AP, 15 hits, and 8 HEs because you're gonna have some fun with HE if you manage to penetrate it goes to more than 1k damage which makes it quite juicy in terms of damage and now for the equipment I go first for the gun rammer I know a lot of people like to go for the Kate Brady shell with the 100 because you already have a really really big reload but I don't feel like I need it because every time I'm not sure about penetrating I'll just go for a heat shell that's why I go for the gun rammer after I go for the enhanced gun laying drive in order for me to reduce a little bit my aiming time and finally I go for the refined gun because if I don't go for that, I'm, I'm gonna have a huge gun dispersion and I try to counter that by using the refine gun. Now, for the vitality, I go first for the defense system because I'm not gonna ram anybody, I'm too slow. And the enhanced armor. Why I don't take the improved assembly? Simply because with this tank, angling is extremely important. And these 4% to strengthen the vehicle armor will allow me to angle my tank and when I angle it, it's gonna allow me to bounce more shells and to make the armor more effective. 
That's why I go for the enhanced armor. Finally, the toolbox because enhanced strike is quite useless. Improved optics because I'm not a tank destroyer, so I'm not gonna camp. Engine accelerator because overall my mobility sucks, so why not try to improve both the driver speed and the top speed. And finally, consumable delivery system because I would rather be able to use adrenaline more often than being able on a short period of time to use it a little bit more. That's how I'm playing my E100. Now let's go for some live battles. Alright, so now regarding the playstyle, uh, it's simple. You have a lot of armor and a big gun and a bad mobility, so what do you need to be on? You need to be on the front line. You need to try to angle the maximum you can the tank when you're reloading to avoid being penetrated, especially in the turret. But if I had to say, you have one universal playstyle with the 100, you hide your lower plate and you angle your turret after firing. That's all you need to do in order for you to do great games. Okay, here we all need to go on the left to the top. Problem is, I'm really slow, so I'm probably going to take a lot of time to be able to get there. But still, that's where we need to go and that's where we are going. Okay, is the first... No, okay, I thought first was AFK, but it's not the case. They have plenty of mediums, so of course they're going to play it at the top on the left. Uh, it's quite good that they have a lot of mediums, because mediums usually don't have the best penetration, which is an advantage, especially when you're angling your turret, because the more you angle, the harder it is for your enemies to penetrate. So, <clears throat> let's take some advanced position. But the problem is, we are going to take so much time to be able to get into position that... Probably all the mediums uh, are gonna have advanced position on me, but I still need to go there. I still, I still need to go there. Okay, there, there is someone in the town. It's, it's not gonna stop me, so who cares? Come on, maybe I can sneak an A sheet. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna wait for the T92 or Projeto to do a mistake. Nice, first mistake from the T95E6. He doesn't try to hit back. And we kill the T62. Okay, now we go in, we go in, guys. I need to take advanced position, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. Probably, I'm just gonna try maybe to sneak a shot on that on that 50B. I went for a gold shell because usually the 50B turret is quite trollish. For the moment, I'm fine. I don't need to push that far, that hard. And I see that we have people in the back, so maybe the best thing to do for me is to... I don't think I need to circle or, or to check whatever they're doing on the other side and the 50 bees alone. That's my time to shine, boys. That's my time to go in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna push straight. That's what our tank is for. I'm gonna try to sneak maybe a, an HE on the Progetto. That would be awesome. All right. Can we sneak a shot on the Progetto? No, we can't. No. Unfortunately, I did not manage to penetrate the Progetto with HE. But maybe, maybe, in, maybe that in seven seconds, I'm gonna be able to destroy it. Four, three. Okay, no, no need for it anymore. Okay, now we go for the 50B. I'm probably gonna take all the shots, but I have enough HPs. 50B is reloading. Let's try to maybe sneak some HEs on the guy. If we're if we're lucky, we can penetrate with two HEs. Let's see how it goes. Boom! First HE, 1k damage. I told you that the HE on this tank is simply amazing. And are we gonna be able to ram it bef oh no, yes, no. No ram, no ram, no ram, but still a good game. Not the best overall. But here it showed you. I, I did not sh manage to show you how to really angle the tank because I pushed straight when I had the when I had the chance to. But we're gonna go for an another one. We're gonna go for an another one, hoping maybe to get a better matchmaking. Dynasty Pearl. Uh, <laughs> Interesting matchmaking. We're probably gonna play it on the medium side as they have mainly a uh, team mainly composed of tank destroyers and also some mediums. So I'm expecting them to go on the right. And in order to counter them, we're gonna do the same. We go on the right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hope my team's gonna follow, but it seems like it's the case. Yeah, it is. Nice. And see, th that's what is the most frightening thing part of the 100 the fact that with your HE shell you can climb up to more than 1k damage which is quite a lot for uh, especially for heavy tank at tier 10 I mean if a tank destroyer puts you 1000 damage with HE you can expect it but with the 100 if you're facing a newbie and newbies pretty much don't know about the E100 destroying gun destructive gun it's a free a free real estate. Okay, uh, Centurion, I don't have anything else against you, but please let me pass. <clears throat> nah, thank you, Centurion. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna wait for that E100 and I'm gonna put straight gold. 
Yeah, we go for a gold shell. We go back. By, by the by the sound of the shell, it's probably an HE that I tried to shot. But still, let's wait for the 100. We're gonna brawl. For the moment, we're in a 1v1 against the 100. Maybe I can sneak a shot on the... Can I sneak a shot on the Prochetto? <gasps> Come on. No. Oh, I really want to get the Prochetto. But I don't want to take shots either. Now I'm gonna wait for the Progetto to, to, to come back. He's gonna he's gonna come back because he doesn't really have the choice if someone pushes him. I need the 50M to go in. Okay, it seems like it's not gonna be the case. Alright. Lucky me. Yes! Uh, thank you, RNG. 900 damage. As you can see, that's... I told you, that's what is frightening. Being, being able to sneak some HE on tanks like that. I destroyed half the HPs of the WT. Let's do the same on the Progetto now. HE. No. No, you can be lucky all the time with your RNG. Let's face it. That's how it is. Six, five, four, three, two. Oh, come on. Nice. We managed to sneak a shot as well. Okay, 100 moved. Uh, we can brawl against the 100 for the moment. I don't need to. I don't want to take useless shots from the 100, so I'm probably going to focus on the rest. The rest, uh, but I don't know, you know what? I can get them, and if I can get them. Alright, let's sneak a shot. Yeah, I went for I went for a gold shell just to be to be sure I can uh, I can do something. Alright. I'm probably gonna take the yeah, I'm probably gonna take the one in here. That's how it is. Okay, I'm gonna perfect. That's perfect because I can show you how to brawl and how to be able to bounce some some shots using your E100. Here I'm gonna wait for the E100 to come back because of course that is gonna come back. And here we need to angle our tank. So to do it, we try to wiggle and see see how I angle my tank. It's it's really simple to be able to bounce shots effectively. Oh fuck! Oh whoa! Sorry. Sorry, that was like the worst shot ever I could pull off. I clicked by mistake, but that's how it is. Okay, let's try to make... To bounce him. Come on. Nah, we didn't manage. As soon as people are, are having heat shells, it's quite hard for you to bounce shots. But I, I showed you how to brawl uh, at least one time. It's enough. Uh, it's enough in my opinion. Not the best game, uh, average games, but still, that shows you how to play the 100. Hope that will be useful for every every single one of you. Once again, I want to remind you one thing with the 100. If you don't know how to angle, don't play it. Really, it's important. Don't play the 100 if you're not a pro in terms of angling. Thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget that you're not here to be better, but to be the best. And see you soon for a new video or stream.